Good morning Elementor fans and today in the tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to take this cool icon box hover effect and, and turn it into an Elementor widget in a couple of minutes. Uh, also I'll be giving this widget uh, to her, whoever wants it and uh, to use it in their website and uh, at the end of the video I will explain uh, how you can get it and so you don't need to make it by yourself and whoever wants to learn how to create widgets can uh, listen to the full tutorial so I've got my HTML and CSS set up and I'm going into WordPress inside of WordPress I have unlimited elements for Elementor installed and I'm inside of the widget catalog you can use any of the predefined widgets you can preview them you can install them and they'll show up in your Elementor website navigate to the correct category where you want to add your new widget that we're adding right now so right now I'm in icon boxes which is a good category to add our new widget to and I'm gonna click add widget and give my widget a name I'm gonna call it icon box hover effect click tab and fill in the name and add widget the widget has been added to our thumbnails over here to edit it you can click the pencil icon or you can double click on the full thumbnail inside over here is our widget creator framework this is where we can create our widget without knowing PHP without knowing JavaScript very basic HTML knowledge required so we have two tabs over here HTML and CSS and we need to copy our HTML and our CSS so copy paste super simple and if you don't know how to create your own HTML you can find on CodePen all sorts of examples for other stuff that uh, you can find and great so we got our HTML and our CSS and what we want to do now is check that it's working because that's it our widget is ready it's not editable yet but we can already put it on the page so I'm gonna open a new page and add new edit with Elementor and in the widget panel on the left I will uh, be looking for my new widget which is called icon box hover effect which is this one now you can also change the icon I will show you that later so just drag that inside and we can see it's already working so you can't edit it yet you can't edit the icon the text and the title yet but it's working and also another thing I would want to change is I would want it to be full width so inside of Elementor you can determine how many columns you want instead of it being a fixed width so over here uh, in the CSS I'm going to take out my max width property perfect next thing is creating the fields so if we break it down let's check how many fields we need we need a link field to determine the link we need an icon field to determine the icon a title and a text field that's it it's pretty simple there are only four fields of course you can add more for example if you want to add a, the amount of delay on the transition and stuff like that or transition uh, amount of seconds you can add those but the basic ones are the content so let's start from those so the first one is a link I'm gonna add attribute inside of the attributes tab in the attribute type I'm going to select a link type and I'm just gonna call it link inside of the default value hashtag and jump into the HTML over here instead of the fixed uh, hashtag I'm gonna change that to the link and after the href is closed we can paste in our attributes the attributes are the cogwheel which we have in our uh, link field I'm just gonna paste that after our uh, href is closed click update and let's see how it looks inside of Elementor so refresh the page to see the changes and I'm gonna click on our widget and now you can see the link field what I talked about the attributes earlier are the link options so 
These two will only work if you added your link attributes. Perfect. So next steps. Let's go for title. Now, if you decide uh, for some reason that uh, this field should be first while editing, you can drag and drop these, since I think title should be before link. Um, inside of the HTML, mark your fixed HTML and replace it with the attribute we've added on the right. Perfect. Let's do our text. Click Add Attribute. I'm going to choose text area since since it's a bigger text box. Enable font editing. And over here, we can replace our fixed HTML with the new attribute we've just created. Last one is our icon. So inside of attributes, we also have an icon field. Now, if you want to learn about attributes and what each one does, since you see there's more than one, uh, you can go into our documentation on our website and uh, over there I go one by one explaining what each attribute does. Inside of the HTML I'm going to replace it with our new icon field and our widget is set up. Last thing we do want to do before testing this is I want to change our fixed ID into a dynamic ID. The reason we do this is the way IDs work inside of HTML is they need to be unique now since you don't know how many instances of this widget are going to be on the page we created an attribute which generates a dynamic ID which will be unique for each widget and we use this attribute over here to do that so I'm just gonna replace everywhere everywhere we have the ID And almost done. I think this is the last one. Let's click update. Refresh the page. Let's duplicate our column so we can see a more realistic kind of layout going on. We can also duplicate our uh, row. And this is, looks like a layout that someone would want on his website. And let's click on one of these to see the editing options. So as you can see, we can edit the text. We can determine a link. We can change the bigger text. And we can change the icon. If you want a different icon, we could change that as well. Inside of the style tab, we have an option for the title style and the text style. If we click enable, and we can change the um, color for example to a different color and the font to a different font and do whatever we like over there so that's it that's how simple it is to do this now um, it will take me a couple days to add this to our widget catalog and uh, until then whoever wants to use this widget can just uh, comment in the comments I want it or anything you want and uh, I will send you a link to download it take in mind that you cannot download it from plugins. You cannot install it from plugins. What you will need to do is install unlimited elements via plugins, and then inside of this widget library, you click import widgets, drag the zip file I sent you inside, and click import widgets. That's it. That's how simple it is, and it will show up inside of your WordPress Elementor uh, front end editor. So, that's it for today. Questions, remarks, suggestions, please send them. Don't hesitate. See you next time.